Here it is. 2001 F-150 Ford. And this is all original truck. Everything still working great. Uh, but it is 22 years old. And one thing that always puzzled me is why the the hubcaps get this brown color and it won't come off and this thing I don't know why that wasn't all we own there either but the rest of the uh, hubcap also gets that color but you get it off with WD-40 or even uh, one brand of furniture polish. But here's uh, something I want to tell you about. If you have a truck that's old, at least a Ford truck, so a while back, I noticed the, uh, uh, going down the road, the, the AC would quit working off and on. And I took it to be, uh, well, I didn't know what it was. But I got checking and it found out that Behind the battery, there is a little black canister. And it hooks in like right there. I don't want to take a battery out to show you the whole thing. But it's enough to know that right behind your battery is this little canister. And it's called a vacuum canister. And it has a little hose about like this uh, windshield wiper hose that goes to it, connects to it, down to the bottom of it. An old thing, not much bigger than your hand. But somehow, this thing is starting, it's called a vacuum. Uh, canister. So somehow this thing got them leaking. What was causing that uh, intermittent uh, AC uh, going off. And what, what it does is what it would do I found out that uh, when you mash down the gas was when it was the uh, AC would quit working and uh, so what it's doing is taking uh, it was taking uh, energy from the AC to run something else and uh, so the AC would temporarily cut out to you let off on the gases and it started going smooth. And then it's, it cooled just like normal. So uh, the, the uh, uh, AC, <laughs> the car AC man found out what the problem was has ordered me another one and uh, he's going to put it on later on. So I just wanted you to, anybody with a similar problem, uh, 
Uh, in my opinion, it could it could just uh, the hose going through this vacuum could get uh, deteriorate and just blow off, and then you wouldn't have no AC at all. Uh, apparently, and uh, so if your AC just suddenly goes off. That'd be one of the main things to check, and you can replace them yourself. But uh, I paid him to find out and fix what was wrong with it, and uh, he thought he thought it was a hose at first, and then. Uh, he thought he'd fix that, but he hadn't. Uh, as soon as I went down the road a while, he uh, found out it was still sucking air. So, I'm, uh, of course, so I'm going back in after a while, get this uh, replaced. So, to do it, <clears throat> to replace it yourself. Now this badgie has a cover over it. I just left the cover off. But you gotta take the the uh, badgie out and you gotta take the badgie holder out, which is not very, it's not hard to do at all. It don't take but a few minutes. And then the when you take that out, you can easily remove the uh, the uh, vacuum box here. And uh, so that's my little thing for the day. And uh, even a little under the hood bulb still last year. Never had to even replace that. But I have had to work on a motor uh, one time. So, I hope this has been a, a good uh, I think it helped out some people.